हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड एन्जॉइंग योर वैकेशंस ओके या सो आई गेट मेनी डाउट्स फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स कीप आस्किंग मी सर विच कॉलेज शुड आई गो शुड आई गो फॉर पेसेट बी एम एस और विच कॉलेज एंड विच ब्रांच आई शुड सेलेक्ट सो 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 टू टू आंसर टू दिस क्वेरी दैट इज़ वाई आई हैव कम अप विद दिस कम अप विद टूडेज वीडियो सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू a top 20 engineering colleges that you can get through kcet okay so before we begin i'll give you i want to give you a quick introduction about myself so i am a mathematics lecturer and uh, and and i'll be trying to give you i'll be i'll be sharing with you the information uh, that will help you to research a particular college how to research and uh, how you can compare two colleges what are the parameters that you can use to compare two colleges so myself i have done my engineering from rv college bangalore yeah so let's start today's session so first thing before we go to the top engineering colleges uh, first thing you need to know is you should be you should have clarity on which engineering branch you want to go for you want to go for computer science electronics and communication mechanical or civil anything whatever is your preference first you should you should have that clarity you can refer to this video how to select engineering branch where i have discussed the scope of every engineering branch and uh, what you based on that you can take your decision so that is the important thing you should know your engineering branch next thing is you should know an approximate rank okay say your score in kcet is Uh, 80 marks. So, if your score is 80 marks and your board marks is 250, so you should have an idea about the rank you can get, the approximate rank. Uh, it can be like if you are getting 7000. Okay, in 7000, which in which good engineering colleges I can get? So, this is how you can refer to uh, this video where I have shared a tool which you can use to predict your rank. So, once you know your rank, then the question comes in that particular rank which engineering colleges i can get amongst that which are the good engineering colleges so how you can compare colleges so here are few parameters that i have come across so first thing is general merit cut off rank so this is the very very uh, like important criteria that you should look for the previous years cut off rank so this pdf i'll be sharing so this is the Uh, official cut off rank of 2023 Karnataka CET so in university of vishveshwarya engineering college if you see bangalore so for computer science the general merit cut off rank for general merit it was 4344 so the last person who got into this college uh, computer science his rank was 4344 similarly we we'll look for rv college so in rv college for computer science you can see here the cut off rank is 360 so the last person who got computer science was 360 so this is the very important criteria that you should look for the cut offs and one more pdf that is done by baswaraj gowda so this is a very uh, very useful pdf that you can use say your rank is 5000 okay so you say your rank is 1700 so in 1700 the these are some best colleges that you can get bms information science ms ramaiah information science so from the top like up from here started in the increasing order of ranks 242 362 456 558 so the top colleges rv college rv college computer science rv college information science data science bms pesat so on so this is a very important uh, very useful pdf which you can refer to uh, find out which engineering colleges you can get so this is based on the cut off rank cut off rank of general merit that is your first criteria second criteria that you should look for is the placement stats so how to find the placement stats of, about a college again for that you can go to their official website so i have gone for rv college uh, placement statistics you can just type that on google and you can find so this is the placement growth so in 2021 you can see 280 companies have visited and they have made 1323 offers so the number of companies have decreased if you see in 2000 no they have almost remained constant 280 291 258 224 2024 uh, till now it is 179 so it will be updated in some more time so you can see the Of the packages also up to six lakhs, six to eight lakhs, eight to twelve lakhs, twelve to fourteen lakhs, fourteen lakhs and above, and so on. Similarly, uh, you can look at the different statistics here. They have mentioned in which sector they have been absorbed and the companies, the list of companies. 
so this is how you can do a research it is a very easy process you just go to google and press the in the name of the college placements you will get all the placement records so this is also an important criteria so the third thing is industry types you should look for if the college has some industry types say in case of rv college they have industry types with cisco similarly with the peset if you see they also have industry types with uh, some industry companies some big companies so if they have some types then you will have uh, it will be helpful for you in the placements okay those companies will recruit from those college itself next important thing you should look is alumni network of the college alumni network means the students say if you are saying bms college of engineering the students who have passed from bms college so where they are now okay where are they working they are working at google microsoft qualcomm accenture tcs so what is the alumni network of the college why alumni network is important really so if the if say if you take bms college of engineering and if you have some 10 uh, 10 students from that college who are working at microsoft okay so they they can help to get microsoft into your college in your campus placements you know right in your fourth year you will have campus placements companies visit to your colleges so this alumni network helps to get uh, get uh, companies in your engineering college so if the alumni network is good then more companies will come to your college so one way of finding out is linkedin so see uh, for this for peset college i have just gone to their linkedin page here you can see their alumni if i click on alumni i can look at the alumni okay there is some ah yeah so yeah so you can see the number of students here so yeah you can go go into linkedin and check see this this person is a research assistant at peset college this this person is from peset college yeah you can visit some profile so this this student is from peset okay he is working at nasdaq okay you can message these students and understand about what is the college how is the college if you have any doubts related to college this is how you can contact the person they will give you the right information because they are from that particular college so linkedin is a very useful social network create your profile today and get connected with students and try to get the information this is also an important thing next is the faculty qualification similarly for faculty qualification also you can go to the official website of the uh college see this is the official website of rv college here you can uh, check the uh, departments in departments if you go computer science you can uh, check here faculty so the faculty qualifications also you can find out so rama uh, ramakant kumar he is the professor and head his area of specialization is so and so you can uh, google search this name and find out the research papers that he has written so do a research on the faculty you will come to know how good is the faculty so this is also one important parameter that you can look for so these five parameters are very important and these are the parameters that i have used to come up with my top 20 engineering colleges other important parameters that you should look for is the campus culture how is the campus culture at the college clubs in the college so these uh, colleges will have different kind of clubs like coding club where students club uh, where students uh, come and they do coding challenges and all uh, they have other uh, extracurricular activities like dance club debate club and so on so this is also important in rv college they have uh, they have this uh, culture of uh, of building cars okay so that is that is a thing if you are really interested in to cars uh, building cars and automobiles is something that fascinates you i think rv college is a very good place for you so next comes hostel and mess facilities these are also very important so about that college check how are the hostels you can find photos on google connect with the students of those college and find out how are the hostel facilities how is the mess how is the food so that you can take a decision you have to join hostel or you you want to stay outside of the hostel like you can uh, take a room uh, take a flat and stay or you can stay at pg next is fee structure see fee structure is one is the tuition fee that is fixed by that is fixed by the karnataka government and one more thing is building fund building fund that is what the college charges based on based on uh, it is it is different for different college it is decided by on their own it can be anything so every year they it will change so you can go and check the 
uh, fee structure of that particular college that is also very important and next is attendance requirement so for that particular college what is the attendance requirement for writing the exam most of the colleges will have 75 percent as the attendance some colleges will have 80 percent 90 percent so this is also an important criteria that you should look for before you select your college so now the most interesting part of the video the top 20 colleges that i have selected based on the parameters that i have discussed with you so the top top number one college of Karnataka is RV College of Engineering. So I have I am a pass out from this college. So I can tell you that this is one of the best colleges that you can get in Karnataka from KCT. Next is BMS College of Engineering, Baswan Gudi, Bangalore. I have also mentioned the code. Number three is Peset University, Bangalore. Number four is MS Ramaya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. Fifth place is taken by SJCE Mysuru. This is also a very good college. And one more important factor that you should look for is Bangalore, the location Bangalore is also very important. As you all know, Bangalore is the IT capital of India. There are around thousands of companies uh, that are there in Bangalore. So this also helps you in your placements. So the location itself helps you in your placement. So that is also one of the important criteria that you should look for, the location. Next is, next you have, uh, these are the other five colleges. You have Inner University of Vishweshwaraya, Dayanand Sagar College of Engineering, KLE University, Dharwad, at, at ninth place, you have Bangalore Institute of Technology. At 10th place, you have the National Institute of Engineering, Mysuru. This is a Mysuru College. Yeah, these are the top 10 colleges uh, that you can get through your KCET. Next, you have SIT Tumkur. This is also a good college. At number 12, you have Niti Minakshi Institute of Technology and Management. At number 13, you have New Horizon College of Engineering, Bangalore. At number 14, you have Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Technology. That is also in your Bangalore. So at 15th position is RNS IT. So this is also a good college that you can look for. So the list is more inflow, more inclined towards computer science, computer science, data science, electronics and communication for circuit branches. Uh, this you can refer to this list if you are looking for circuit branches. Okay. If you are looking for non circuit branches like mechanical and civil, I think you will have to research on your own. Okay. Yeah. Net at uh, number 16, you have BNM IT. At number 17, M. Vishweshwara Institute of Technology. At number 18, you have KLS Kodge Institute of Technology. At number 19, you have JSS Academy. At number 20, you have CMR IT. Okay. These are the top 20 colleges that I, uh, these are the top 20 colleges that I think based on the parameters that I have discussed with you. Okay. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video so that it reaches more students. Okay. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you.